Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Hmm. Welcome. What welcome, a morning. <laughs> I know. We say that every week. Like, whoa, what, <laughs> what a week it's been. But really, it's when, beginning. <laughs> oh, I know. We're coming off that full moon. Oh, buddy. Let me tell you. Yeah. I think a lot of people were. That, talking that was, about this that was some serious fire going on it was interesting because um <clears throat> that night we had our <clears throat> excuse me our um full moon circle and then afterward there was a lot of fire running around between my child and i <laughs> was rough. yeah and i just i oh i just i stayed up and i'm usually after those circles, I'm chill. I, mm-hmm. you know, I'm ready to just lie down and integrate all this stuff. But man, oh man, I was just like, whoop. <laughs> yep. Yeah. It, the fire was definitely on that night because I, I, my son and I had a quite an interesting evening and I was actually on the other side of the country. So it was all on. That's phone. right. Ugh. And then, um, and then my sleep was terrible. Like I was, I was on fire all night long. So it's, yeah, it's real interesting, but you know, energy does affect you. And the, mm-hmm. you know, the more I pay attention to our moon cycles, the more aware I am of how not only just the, the, you know, the watery, you know, the emotions come and flow, but also that, that alignment to, to the energies of the sign that they're, they're, within. Um, yeah. I can really feel, feel it. And having the awareness of it really does help me to at least have a little more compassion for myself when I feel like I'm, I'm outside of my normal being. <laughs> Cause that's what it feels like. I feel like I'm like, Oh my gosh, an right. is taking over my brain. <laughs> yeah. This is not me. This is not me. Well, <laughs> it was interesting to observe other people outside of this circle and what they were experiencing because then you we're all affected whether you believe it or not Mm -hmm. your body is made of a lot of water Mm -hmm. and that moon is going to shift stuff around Mm -hmm. and i when people like i said outside of my circle were relating certain things that were going mm-hmm. on. I said, well, you know why this is happening. And it's not like I'm trying to convince anybody to, to believe in yeah, all this, yeah. whatever. Yeah. However, yeah. when I say, well, are you feeling this? Well, yeah. Are you feeling this? Yeah. I said, well, okay. That's, <laughs> there might be a reason why. Might however, be a reason why. here, here is whether you, however you believe that what's causing it or that we are all energy, as you know, we are all experiencing these two things together. And what I felt the, the goddess can provide is that insight that we've gained from interacting with these different energies and, and bringing forth that to, to the outside world, because that's really, I mean, we, we can live in a little bubble, our little goddess, bubble uh, or we can be it we're here for a purpose uh what better purpose is than to well i not really i just to mirror that energy that mm-hmm. we've been yeah well, right to be, to, you know you know, you know my favorite quote be the be the change that you want to see in the world right so yeah the more yeah aligned the more aligned to my heart that i can live to that truth right. to that that essence of my my true being right right not, and not i'm this not this ego mess that is you know. no no and that might be a good segue into the goddess that we were going to mm-hmm. talk about today marguerite porete because she stood she told her truth she stood fast to what she believed and it really wasn't too i mean this was in the middle ages mm. that she existed and as you know, in the Middle Ages, it was pretty dark. People uh, were it, were believing in a lot of evil things. Well, I mm-hmm. won't say evil things, but dark, dark things. energy, mm-hmm. dark things. 
And she was part of an order of nuns, but they were labeled heretics because they were trying to bring the light to the people. And it, it, uh, it really, she wrote a book called uh, The Mirror of Simple Souls, and mm. it reveals the spiritual process she went through to be transformed into not, divine love. And she says, I am God, says love, for love is God, and God is love, mm. and this soul is God by the condition of love. Yeah. Uh, and they, uh, of course, branded her a heretic. Uh, <laughs> and uh, basically, you're saying your love, your God, what? That's not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. And of course, they burned her at the stake. Because, <laughs> you know, that's what you do you know, that's when what, someone that's, has a different opinion. <laughs> that's what you do. Um, and then I'll just read from our book about what the overall message we can derive from from her is that she is a courageous truth teller and the mm. truth of her experience is that love alone can set us free mm. not the love another might give us not the love of family or, or friends all of this is powerful and it's significant but the true source of love for us is the fact that we are a soul mm. and that the soul is in union with the divine. Wow. Yeah. That's Beautiful. pretty powerful. Yeah. yeah. So, you. you know, threaten to burn me at the stake. I am still love. I am still a part of the divine. And well, and so her message is still out there, regardless of the outcome of, of her life experience. So, you know, so often. We, we get into um, a headspace of resentment about the life experiences we have, right? It's so hard. Why are these things happening to me? That victim role, right? That, that yeah. root chakra imbalance of not feeling safe and not feeling secure and not having a firm foundation to build your life on. And, and it's interesting because when I started really diving into understanding my my heart magic and so much of my heart magic um, comes back to understanding the the energy that I'm I'm that I am and I'm participating in and the effects of that on my body mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, I had to break my tailbone to rebuild my foundation that's yeah, yeah it's a lot of fun right um <laughs> Yeah, but it's interesting because when you start having physical ailments associated with the different chakras, um, that's either an imbalance or, or it's a recalibration that's occurring. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, because so, it causes you to focus on that mm -hmm. area, yep. right? Yep. Well, that and also, you know, for me at the time when that happened, <clears throat> I was actively shifting my my life from a space of that victim role into, into nurturing and, and loving and mothering yeah. my inner child that, that didn't get what I needed as a child. Right. Right. And so then when I really stepped into my power and said, this is, this is the life that I'm creating. This is the life that I want to be living. <clears throat> then my body had to adjust <laughs> like the energy had to shift. Like I had to have a different foundation. So I broke my tailbone and it took me about six months to heal it. And over the, that six months is when I started really, really firming up the foundation of how I wanted to be living my life from that point forward. And that was five years ago, this past mm -hmm. um, August that, that that occurred. So it's real interesting to see where I am now. And everything that I have created in that five years. And so um, it was May five years ago that I began the expression of my work, you know, now calling it authentic life journey. Right. So I then, think I was, I yeah. came in right about yeah. the time yeah. that you had had this. Right. Yeah. And then I broke, I broke my tailbone in August. So I laid this new foundation, the beginning of that year. 
And then my body was like, okay, I have to, I have to get back with you. So I'm, I'm, I think I went a little off, off on a tangent here. So let me pull us back on the tracks. <laughs> no, no, that's okay. Our, you know, our experience <laughs> but, enables but, us to teach things. Right. But this foundation that was laid coming back to our, our, our message here today was that, that living my authentic life journey meant remembering that I am love, that the heart the heart is the messenger. The heart is the guide. The heart holds the GPS system. All of the answers that I need filter through the heart space. And if they filter through the heart space, then my intuition is, 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 you know, I'm, I'm listening to it and I'm honoring it and I'm, I'm acting based on what is in my highest and greatest good, Mm -hmm. not on an intellect, right? I just had right. a client yesterday where we were doing, we were doing an emotion code session. This is a new technique that I've picked up recently. And, and he, he was like, what are the other emotions that you said before you picked that one? And how are you picking that one? And I'm like, why are you intellectualizing this? <laughs> yeah. Like, just let yourself let go. And, and I said, do you trust me? He said, yes. I said, I, I said, I'll be happy to explain to you how I'm doing this, which I did. I said, but your ego is trying to keep us from moving forward because you want it to make sense. You want to intellectualize it. Right, right. So let's back it down. You want to see it to believe yeah. it rather than believe it to see it. <laughs> right. So, so that's what, to me, her message is saying is that it's, it's, she she understood that she was one with the divine she understood that she and 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 that being love meant that she was a spark of the divine Mm -hmm. and 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 i think that that's the you know that's the heart of the matter here right right (laughs) remember that you are love remembering that that is the that is the the ultimate gift of of life yeah yeah and every time we speak the word love we are speaking the divine into being what whether we realize it or not and so when you tell somebody i love you Mm. yes it's me loving you but what I am acknowledging is God loves you or you know universal love loves you you know what I what I loved uh, when Marianne Williamson decided to run for president Mm -hmm. I thought now this is profound the this I didn't think she would get too far however because in our current day construct love has no place in governing (laughs) when in fact she was there she held to her truth that I mean because she believes in a course of miracles there is either love or fear you you can they cannot exist together and she was she was there to bring this message of of love and Mm -hmm. she talked openly about it and of course Mm -hmm. everybody was like what did she just say? Well, and so that's a seed, right? She right. A seed, regardless, regardless of the outcome. Exactly. And, and, exactly. That, and that is what our goddess has done. She right. a seed. She, and in that moment, many of us, it, it kind of gave us permission to really embrace that which mm. is in our soul, like Marguerite, like mm-hmm. the, mm-hmm. the mystics, the the goddesses that have come before us to that in their in unique expression, their situations may be different, but it's all, like you said, it all goes through the heart and, and even energetically, as you teach, everything pa- has to pass through the heart as it's going up oh, and down. Yeah. Right. Uh, so I would, I would say, and I think you teach this is when a, Whenever there's an imbalance or something, check your heart first, right? Right. See what's see what's happening there. 
uh, and, and trust, trust, right? right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. well, during this season of uh, fire, and if you feel like uh, there's been some fire under your feet. <laughs> too. Well, and that's just, it's firing you up to step into whatever. So for right. me, I will say for me, what the full moon, you know, on the tail end of our Mercury retrograde, like we were in the shadow still by the time we got yeah. to that full moon. So the message of my um, retrograde had everything to do with boundaries. Ah. And the experience I had with my son also had to do with boundaries. So it was just kind of affirming and, and, yeah. and really, um, really bringing um, to the, to the mat, you know? Yeah. Yeah. This is, this is where your, this is where your attention needs to be. This is where the energy needs to be focused. And so when, when we honor that, then we're able to truly step into our power, which is what fire is all about, right? Is mm-hmm. stepping because that's part of the solar plexus. That's the element of the solar plexus is fire. Yeah. So stepping into your power and 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 taking action on what it is that you gained through that retrograde. Like what are the messages mm-hmm. that really came up? So so mm-hmm. even in reflection, friends, as you're as you know, yes, the full moon was last week. However, if you want to sit in reflection and be like, okay, what, what was my, what was, what were the, the themes that were coming up for me during um, Mercury retrograde? And then how did that play itself out with the full moon? So yeah. again, yeah. It's, it's about understanding your energies. It's about understanding the energies that are operating around you and, and, and stepping into your, into your ability to, um, weave weave your your life with with that energy you know i think of the uh, the avatar my son used to watch the avatar as a child and um and he worked to all the elements and so it was really it's it was such an interesting especially as i was coming into my understanding of energy it was such an interesting um children's television program <laughs> to be on tv yeah um, but i really loved and enjoyed watching it with him so uh, you have the power to to work all of those elements so yeah. cause, they're, cause they're all within you. Yeah, exactly. So well, give I'm just space to see and understand what's, what's occurring around you. And, and right, right. I, I'll just add, because I am, I'm water. I'm, I'm water. And so when you put a fire energy in me, it, it really makes me uncomfortable because I am not used to feeling that. <laughs> not I will feel resistance like no can we just yeah. flow through this can we just because yeah. retrograde for me this time was really nice I it, I slowed down and I gave myself time to reflect mm-hmm. and and all that and then all of a sudden it's like boom okay all that stuff you were thinking about this get this. and I'm like oh you mean I have to actually do it now <laughs> you know? right right for sure. uh, and it the this the energy gives you what you need when you need it right mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and right now we we need to remember that we are we are love marguerite reminds us it is yes. in your soul mm-hmm. you are i am what i am mm-hmm. and i am love i don't oh, care yeah. what i don't care what you say <laughs> i'm Absolutely. gonna love you no yes. matter what you say what are you gonna do <laughs> i am going to love you <laughs> I am yelling at you, child, because it's, I mm-hmm. love you. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, right. <laughs> exactly. Oh, boy. Yeah. Well, yeah. thank you so much for this talk. We always oh, yes. thank you. <sighs> come into it a little. <laughs> try, trying, trying to process everything. And then it's a, it's a perfect always, way to center yeah. you. Well, and as a, I, at least for me, as a, um, <clears throat> as a, a Gemini and air sign, um, talking it out, gets it. Yeah. That's how I process things. And so, um, it's, right. it's nice for us to have these chats. Cause I always have these enlightening moments uh, and, and I walk away going, Oh, okay. That makes more sense now. Absolutely. Well, and I hope that those of you who are watching this later on feel the same way that they, mm-hmm. you can tap into that love and every any which way you mm-hmm. feel led 
Uh, stick to your truth. Yes. Love them regardless. Mm-hmm. Don't play the victim. Yeah. Get yourself grounded, love. filter through the, yeah. Be the love you wish to see in the world. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, I love it. Well, mm-hmm. all right. Well, with that, 